Good morning and welcome back in. Well, the cause of death still has not been released for Olivia Newton-John, but we do know she battled breast cancer multiple times in a 30-year span. And at some point, the cancer had spread to her lower spine. Joining us now with more on the recurrence and the spread of cancer is Dr. Khalil Ashraf from Brookwood Baptist Medical Center. Good morning, doctor. Good to see you. Yeah, good morning. I, I know that you deal with this a lot in what you do being an oncologist. Um, let's talk about first that when cancer, is it often that it comes back in other places or is that a rare occurrence? Uh, it's uh, unfortunately, you know, it, it is one of the, the main uh, issues with cancer is that it has a tendency to come back in other places, which is what it distinguishes cancer from benign tumors. and. Uh, especially with cancers like breast cancer, and this can happen many years, even decades later, as happened, uh, unfortunately, in the case of uh, Ms. Newton. Well, like in her situation, she battled it and considered herself in remission. I have a family friend who had battled cancer, thought she was in remission, then a couple of years later, it's come back um, in, in her lymph nodes. And so you, you can't really, I guess, ever consider yourself completely um, to not be fearful of it coming back. Is that accurate? Uh, to some extent, uh, especially in certain cancers, uh, majority of cancers, if they are cancer-free for like five years, uh, there's a very good chance they're being, being cured. But some cancers, especially hormone-positive breast cancers, can come back even 10, 20, even 30 years later, as in the case of Ms. Newton. So yes, uh, we do have a uh, these patients, we need to see them on an ongoing basis. So what is happening if, a, if someone fights breast cancer? What is happening and why do we know why it comes back in another form, in another part of the body? Well, you know, cancer cells do, uh, it doesn't take too many cancer cells. So sometimes there are a few cells that remain dormant in organs like liver or bone. And uh, down the line, uh, they actually, you know, start growing back. And the reason we do give, say, chemo after initial surgery and all is to prevent this from happening. But uh, even with our best effort, some cancers do come back. So periodic follow-ups are very important for any cancer survivor. Like with any medical problem, people handle it differently as people do with cancer. Are certain people predisposed? Is there people who may, it may reoccur more often than in others? Is there something going on with that person's genetics? Uh, well, it depends on the initial tumor stage, uh, how aggressive was the initial tumor, and also patients on uh, features, including, uh, you know, there is uh, evolving data, how important is diet, exercise, keeping a low BMI, all those things in preventing cancer recurrence, uh, especially in tumors of uh, breast endometrium colon uh, prostate. Uh, there is a significant role of patients on behavior in cancer recurrence. There's still so much we really don't know about cancer, isn't there, even though we've learned so much? Absolutely. Uh, and, uh, you know, at least uh, we are progressing in that uh, there is better techniques nowadays to detect very minimal amount of disease in the blood, even though it's still not standard of care. So hopefully we'll be better at detecting cancer at an earlier and earlier stage as we go forward. All right, I like the positiveness. We'll leave on that note there. Dr. Khalil Ashraf from Brookwood Baptist Medical Center. Thank you, sir. Thanks for what you do to try to help folks uh, battling cancer. Thank you. Thank you so much.